Assalamu alaikum. Today we shall discuss how to calculate elastic constants or elastic tensors using Win2K and IR Elast package. If we look at the user guide, it has the description how to use IR Elast package. Using IR Elast, we can calculate uh, elastic constants for all kinds of systems, cubic, hexagonal, tetragonal, etc. So we will use uh, a system uh, magnesium oxide and this is uh, in this directory. So if we look at the system, we have uh, two files here and let me show you the structure first. So this is the structure of the magnesium oxide and we also need along with the structure we also need the output us file this you can get when you uh, use you do volume optimization if you need to review how to do the volume optimization you may watch this video from my website now since we have this structure and the output us file we can calculate elastic constants using ir elast package first we will run set elast now you have two options here with the pressure and with the lapw if you do not want to use any pressure just the system as it is you can use uh, I set elast LAPW command. If you want to uh, put a pressure or if you want to calculate the elastic constants in pressure, then you select the pressure. I will do this one, the pressure one. So I will select here. When I run, it asks uh, how many uh, situations we would like to do. If you like to do for two situations say two pressures like 5 uh, gigapascal or 10 gig and and 10 gigapascal you choose here two if you want more you can choose three four five here i will use only one since this is the tutorial purpose so i choose one now is asking for the pressure let's choose five gigapascal the unit is in gigapascal now it is it will do the calculation it will ask many things we just need to be patient with that okay now it's asking uh, whether i like to reduce uh, the rmt then the default value i will say no so the default is no change now it's asking for the potential to choose i will choose the default one 13 you can just press enter that will also choose the default one this is the given here but if you like to use uh, others the numbers are given you can choose from here even if you type uh, the 13 this is also the default one so core valence i will uh, select uh, this one also default rkmx i will select 8 this is because we have magnesium in the system and uh, this is, is lmax 9 gmax i will give default this is i will keep default and mixing factor i will also keep default now this asks for the k points since this is tutorial purpose i will choose only 1000 okay for spin polarization i don't want the spin polarization at this moment so i will select no now it's asking for whether i want to define the run command now i will select yes because this helps a lot if, if you don't want you can say no and uh, if you want to set it uh, later on you can read how to do it in the user guide also if you read in the user guide and this go to uh, go to the bottom of the guide it says this in this directory there are details procedure describes uh, there are files pdf files where the details procedure are described this is just a quick user guide so you can read that one also okay so um, i will select yes now now i will select run lapw minus energy converse 0 0.001 uh, 
sorry, 0, 1. This is should be charge converse CC. I will not select this one. I will like uh, keep like this one, the charge converse. Here you can choose many things. If you do want to do parallel calculation, you can choose minus P. If you want to increase the number of default iteration, the default maximum if iteration is 40. But if you want to, if you think that your system may not converge with these uh, 40 iterations, you can use minus i flag and uh, assign a number as you like. But I would like to keep it uh, the default. So now, once I have the command, I will write Q and place enter. Then it's asking whether I want to. Uh, create all the folders for C11 plus to see this because for this system this is cubic system it is shows here the cubic system the uh, script automatically detects whether the system is cubic or monoclinic or something like that and it uh, decides uh, automatically so it, it is cubic system as we have seen the structure also so for that it will create these three folders and C44 so I'll select here yes. Now it is creating the folders. Okay, now it's asking whether I want to use the default parameters for the tensors or not uh, to calculate the elastic constants. Uh, I will keep yes. If you want to uh, increase this, there are five default values minus from minus two to two. But if you want to use more, you will put no and then it will ask the number of uh, values or number of changes you want to make then it will ask the changes but for that uh, for this tutorial purpose i will choose the default one yes it just pauses some time now it is asking for the another folder c11 minus c22 folder uh, like before i will select one sorry yes it will also ask me again for C44 because of the cubic system. Okay, now it has created all the files. If you see this, this is the folder, the pressure 5 created. This is my previous calculation. So, this is if you select the 10 uh, gigapascal, it will be pressure underscore 10. If we look at uh, inside, this is if you go, then you have the ma uh, magnesium oxide system. Now, it, you have folder elastic constants. If you go here, then you see the three uh, folders C11 plus 2C12, C11 minus C12, and C44. If you enter any of the folder, you will see that again the system. Now you have this cubic uh, dot job file. Now you can run this entering in different folder uh, separately, or you can, uh, what we can do, we can call this call job. LAPW. Now, if we, since we as we have shown you, there are there are three folders. Now, if you have several machines, you can run this separately in different machine. Then you can put together and calculate the results. Uh, because that actually uh, saves time but in that case you can run separately as I have shown you for every folder you have this one you can run this uh, cubic dot job file if your system is monoclinic then it will be mono dot job I will show you for that but if you want to do it in the same machine you can run this one call job underscore lapw command now once I call it, it will run the whole things. Uh, sorry, you, we have to go here. We have to go to this uh, system pressure. And uh, again in this one. Now, yes, I need this folder. You have to enter the in this folder. Because I was in this folder. Then I have to enter here in this folder for each pressure case. So that I have this uh, folder in this folder I have all the other actually subfolders C11 C4 as I have shown you here C11 C12 uh, sorry C11 plus 2 C12 C11 minus C12 and C44 okay now sorry for that I will call this one now it will start as you can see 
So it will initiate and run all these things. Now let me show you something more about the folder here. So if you want to make change about the initialization, uh, so this is running in this folder. That's why uh, in this folder I started. Let's go here. If you want to change anything, if you, can, you have this command is here, the parameters that we have selected for initialization. These are here. You can edit this file. Also, if in any case, if you need to edit the run command, you can uh, do it here in this file. If you go to the bottom, you will find in the, the run command. Let me, here, this is the run command. So if you want, in any case, if you want to, uh, if you need to edit, you can edit this command from here also. Also, there are options uh, you can read from the user guide. Now, let me show you while this calculation is uh, going on for another system that was monoclinic in type. So here I didn't do for uh, the any uh, pressure. I just did this for uh, as it is as the structure was. So if we go inside the this folder elastic constant folder, you can see we have lot more folder here. So this is one 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 two. So depending on the system type, it will create number of folders to calculate the elastic constant. If we enter in any one of them, you see this is mono.job because the system is monoclinic. I can show you how was the system. Is 10 minus minus. So this is the structure zinc oxide. For that I did the calculation and uh, what I can I want to show you also if you go here in the last now you see after the calculation you will have these files the output dot elast and also you will have output order this is also the file where the matrix are uh, for not all of the system you have this file actually but you will have this file here actually is uh, this all the elastic constant in the standard format let me show you how it look like so if i go here so you can see these are the the matrix elements and the constants are uh, the values are actually uh, bulk modulus for different uh, types of calculation also shear modulus young modulus and the Poisson ratio this also gives you the temperature all these are saved here and if you go here no, not this one uh, so this one yes here you have all the constants that's calculated c11 c22 depending on the system this can be a lot more like that or even small uh, very few like the one with the magnesium oxide okay we will uh, wait a bit for this uh, the calculation to be finished okay the calculation is finished now what we will do we will um, call the call elast we we'll run this call elast uh, lapw okay this is the plot it has produced and uh, if you want to save it you can save it here this will give option here i don't want to save it okay there will be another one so this is the last one because i had only three folders Now it just uh, give you the results here. So we have the results now. It's calculated. This is the C11 matrix, C22, and uh, C12, and also these are the elastic constants. And the um, for this is the bulk modulus uh, in different system, uh, different ways of calculation. This is the shear modulus. This is Young's modulus, and this Poisson's ratio. We also have this debate temperature and you can see the average wave velocity, all these things we also have. Now just let, to finish the uh, calculation, just we need to press enter. So it is done. All the results are as I have shown before. It's written here in these uh, folders. 
sorry i just need to enter here so not here when you run so to say again that if you run the uh, set elast pressure you run from this folder once you have this you enter the, the pressure folder separately then then the directory name then you uh, run the call job then for calculating the uh, um, call elast or running the call elast that's we have done you also uh, staying here you do and the results are said in the elast constant folder so to see this we need to go elast constant folder now these are the results so this is the matrix elements here and the, all the outputs are here let me show you so here are the all the outputs you can see these are the c11 c12 and c14 this is uh, all the thing that we have shown in the terminal okay now um, so you can use these results or uh, these are the elastic uh, you, you may be able to calculate other elastic constants for uh, properties from these three uh, values okay for that uh, you may need to write your own script or something like that okay this is how you can calculate elastic constant for a system i hope this will be helpful thank you